Hey guys, uh, Rusty Myers here. Yeah, I'm back. I had COVID, so I've been making videos for a while. But here's the thing, guys. You saw the title of the video. This video is about the Great Reset, okay? Oh, y'all, I, I, before we get to that, check this out. I know what y'all are looking at that like, dang, Rusty, those are those are nice. So those are cousin Big Sid's uh, Dog the Bounty Hunter glasses. Uh, they're very similar. These actually um, may or may not have been the ones that I was wearing on January 6th when I didn't punch a cop and break two windows. You know, I wasn't there on January 6th. Um, they can never prove it. The FBI can kiss my butt. James Comey's a dildo. Phone's ringing. Hold on. Hello? Federal Bureau of Investigation. I pay my taxes. Do what? January 6th? I, I have no clue what you're talking about, sir. I, sorry, I didn't know you were a woman. Sorry, ma'am. Good grief. Huh? January 6th. I think it's like Glenn Beck's birthday or something. Yeah, that's... That ain't good. Um, but like I said, I was not there on January 6th. But here's the thing about the Great Reset. I was watching a prophet of the Lord, Glenn Beck, and he said that the Great Reset's coming, and it's coming, okay? I know a lot about... There's been a couple of times in my... What, Granny? I know he can't be a prophet of the Lord. Glenn Beck's a Mormon. I get it. You know, and his, he's got a weird... That's a weird religion. Basically... Um, Samuel Adams or Joseph Smith, whoever started the Mormonism, he basically was in the woods, supposed to be like collecting firewood. And they caught him with like a 16-year-old girl. And um, he basically said, an angel said I could do it. it. It's exactly right, Granny. That does remind me of Uncle Bobby. Uncle Bobby wasn't a Mormon. He was a Presbyterian minister once he got out of prison. And um, he was caught with a 16-year-old girl too. So... I don't know. That, that's just reminding me of Mormonism. The point is, is this. Glenn Beck is right. The, the Great Reset's coming. We're all going to be working for China, okay? We're going to have to get COVID tests up our butt, which I know a lot of y'all are like, what are you talking about? Um, my friend went to the doctor, and he was just faking a kidney stone, trying to get some Percocet. But they said, have you been tested for COVID? And he said, I, I don't believe in that. And they stuck a finger in his butt and stuff like that. So that's the great, but that's just part of the Great Reset. Look, when I was a teenager, y'all remember dial-up internet? You Look at that shirt. That's beautiful, dude. I still have this. This right here is worth a lot of money. Anything with the name Trump on it is worth a lot of money. But when I was a teenager, and you have dial-up internet, you know the ones when you were going to be looking at something you shouldn't have? Nothing, Granny. Um, it would make that noise, and you'd be like, it was awkward, of course. Well, once it froze. And so my mom had to call and get it reset. A repairman came out. And we had been hacked or something by the Russians because there was pornography all over the computer. I know, Granny. I don't know what that was about. It had to be Putin. Um, so I'm very familiar with the Great Reset. I've been through a couple of them. So we need to be very careful because, you know, before long we're just, you know, going to be having to be forced to drive electrical cars. And I refuse to do that. I don't plug anything in at all. Phone's ringing again. Federal Bureau of Investigation. Huh. Anyway, I gotta go.